morning children so today we are going to read next chapter that is changes in transport this is a social studies book of third class okay so let us read of changes in transport you know what are the changes we have uh, read about you know we have already read about uh, the changes how the uh, people have changed their clothes how the people have changed their uh, foods no how they have changed the entertainment facilities and all so like that we are going to read about changes in transport we use vehicles like buses cars and auto rickshaws in to travel usually people they travel by buses auto rickshaws cars and all. these vehicles are called means of transport okay these all are the vehicles which are called means of transport you know that you have seen in the quote uh, here no there are pictures given so you know what are things no what are the transport uh, uh, means there are boat train bullock cart aeroplane so these are all are the transport means okay means of transport they help people to travel from place to place to another from one place to another okay the kind of transport we choose depends on the distance to be traveled and time and money we have okay according to the time and money we have like a distance if we go if we go far away the transport money will be also charged more if we go uh, in a nearby place the money will be less okay we use two wheelers and cars to travel shorter distance we use two wheelers and cars to travel shorter distance when we go to shorter distance we usually okay. use uh, two wheelers and cars to travel okay to travel from one state to another we use buses cars trains and aeroplanes okay we use cars trains and aeroplane bullock carts trucks trains and ships along with aeroplanes are used to carry people and goods so these all are the things which are used to carry goods people and goods like bullock carts you know no bullock carts uh, animals uh, will be there and back side there will be a, uh, some uh, no you know uh, bullock carts means what no with the animal there will be no so um, two wheelers uh, sorry trucks trucks are also mainly used to carry all the things okay goods and goods and usually people also travel by truck and trains and ships ships you know it uh, runs in a water so early humans traveled on foot early humans used to travel on foot they never used to hire a buses cars and all what they used to travel by foot they used animals or sledges to carry heavy loads from place to place or they carried them by themselves okay they used to carry their heavy loads by themselves before or earlier so this is what the change is okay before the people used to carry the loads by themselves or uh, by the sledges okay by the animals it was very difficult to travel in those days in those days it was very difficult to travel people they didn't have cars there were no vehicles facilities transport facilities so wheels made traveling easy and comfortable right now we can go anywhere by plane by buses by train right by cars so this is all the changes came in transport then the wheel was invented wheels made traveling easy and comfortable carts pulled by an animals were introduced to carry people and goods this is how the first means of transport was invented okay it's a wheel first means of transport was wheel just see the picture over here what is the, what is the wheel you know no so with the passage of time wheels were used to make other means of transport like bicycle car bus and train before people used then afterwards once the wheel was introduced then they started making bicycle car bus and train so even aeroplanes have wheels you know no 
you might have seen aeroplanes if you have not uh, traveled but you have seen in tv and all so in photos no in pictures and all you might have seen aeroplanes even if the aeroplanes have a wheels okay so means of transport there are three kinds of transport they are land water and air transport okay land is land transport means we can have auto rickshaw bus metro train and all and uh, water is sheep we can say sheep only a port also so and uh, air transport means of course any aeroplane helicopter and all okay now let us see there are some means of transport that move on land only trains buses cars trucks scooters tractors tongas and carts are all means of land transport land transport is commonly used for transporting people and goods from one place to another bullock carts and bicycles are mostly used by the people living in villages and small towns bullock carts are still bullock carts are there but only in villages and in a small towns okay so buses are commonly used to travel from one place to another we see more of cars two wheelers buses and trucks in big towns and cities land transport is of two kinds that is road and rail you know that train is also a land transport and in a road also we can see for shorter distances we go by road and for longer distances we use railways okay for shorter distances we go by shorter distances we go by road okay and in a longer distance we go by train or uh, train okay so delhi kolkata and some other indian cities have metro trains you know metro train is also there if you have not seen just check it out in google or you can see okay trains that run both above and under the ground so this is the metro train can run under the ground so you can see in the picture also this is what a met metro train is just see in the picture it is a metro train okay here fill in the blanks is given we will do afterwards and this one air transport you know what is air transport air transport is a aeroplane we can say aeroplane helicopters air, air transport is the fastest mode of trans travel aeroplanes and helicopters are means of air transport helicopters and aeroplanes are used for covering long distances in less time okay if you are going from india to somewhere or europe or, or some other places then you are going to have a less a uh, distance if you go by aeroplane okay distance is more but uh, because of aeroplane it, it takes too much time uh, sorry less time okay water transport ships boats like liners tankers and steamers move on water hence they are called water transport okay uh, it moves uh, it moves on water that's why it's called water transport ships boats liners tankers and steamers are there these are the water transport and a port is the place where loading and unloading of goods and passengers is done okay water transport is one of the earliest and cheapest means of transportation so in water transport it costs less and animal transport animal transport is a means of land transport since ancient times it is from ancient times so animals carry goods and people the camel is called the ship of the desert and it carries goods and as well as people even today okay you might have seen you just see in the picture this is a camel it is a desert place ponies and mules are used in hilly regions and elephants are used in forest areas you know forest areas means where there are so much trees okay so many new ways of moving from one place to another are being invented now people are people also travel to space in space crafts and rockets you know no so space crafts and rockets are also, is also a means of transport people travel to the space also so children i hope you understood all this chapter uh, changes in transport you know how it was before before people used to use bullock carts animals to 
for our transport and usually people used to carry by themselves the loads and all nowadays the means of transport is totally changed so this is what the changes in transport teach about so children have a nice time have a nice uh, weekend